I'm gonna try to do this again. I can't really because it started over here. Uh, there it is. This shirt is the one that's gonna have a deer head on it. Right there. Right in the middle of it. And I can tell you just by looking at it that this shirt was born to have a deer head on it. I'm gonna try to get the best quality of graphics I can because this shirt goes to somebody and we'll never see it again and of course the chances of me ever being able to duplicate it are slim to none. I might be able to come close. That's fuchsia. This is for the this is for what you call posterity. I can look back at it and it's also for records. I can say okay this is how I did that. I folded it this way so that the back would have a different symbol on it or a different design to it. I could work with the back separately. And then what I did was I, f I fan folded or accordion folded all this down here around this, leaving this sticking out like a little sack, you know. And then I, I put uh, bags around it and rubber banded them on there to make sure that dye did not get onto that part because that's where the uh, deer head's going to go. And it comes, this is mink brown, which when it fades into the shirt, which has been treated with soda ash, it kind of yellows up and it looks really fucking cool. And this is uh, turquoise and mink brown up here, which is like the sky or something, man. And then down here, this is like, uh, okay, you know, if you're a hunter, you can see blood in there. And even gunshot wounds if you, you know, want to. And there you go. This is a shirt that was Nothing but a fucking deer head could possibly ever go on this shirt. A rabbit head? No. A cat head? It has to be an awful evil looking cat. But a deer head fits right on there, and I will show it to you as soon as I get it on there. Later today. There's a bug crawling up that. See that?